it's that time again. Today I'm going to be exploring a brand new creek with an old technique. Today I'm going to be giving away my ultralight secret weapon, the Daredevil Skeeter Spoon. And when I say giving away, I mean literally. I'm going to be giving away 10 Skeeter Spoons, all modified with a marabou tail on the double hook, which is my secret modification that turns this into an unstoppable fish catching magnet. It's a beautiful day for some ultralight creek fishing, so come along with me. Let's catch a ton of fish and stick around to find out how you can enter to win 10 Daredevil Skeeter Spoons. Got one already. <laughs> All right, little bluegill. Just a little one, but only a couple casts in, and we are on the board. Let's see if we can get another one out of this shady little corner over here. Got another one. <laughs> Ooh, got ourselves a pumpkin seed here. A couple casts in, and we're at two species. That's a good start. All right, let's move it along. Got one. <laughs> Another little sunfish here. Tiny fish. This little area over here seems pretty interesting. Man, this is such a cool spot here, guys. Got one? Looks like species number three, rock bass. Not a bad one. Got one. <laughs> kind of a horrible cast and just happened to land right in front of this fish. Ooh. Another rock bass here. Another decent rock bass. And guys, I believe I saw a large mouth, a really small one chasing this guy. Got one. <laughs> Ooh, that looks like a really pretty pumpkin seed. Nice. Just an absolutely beautiful pumpkin seed sunfish. One of the prettiest native species, even if they are common. Got one. <laughs> Another rock bass. Looks like there's a whole school of Rockies right here in this little hole. I'm not complaining. I like catching rock bass. All right, guys, I can see up ahead there is a fountain tucked in this corner behind the building. I'm not sure why they put a fountain behind the building where no one can see it, but uh, a fountain means cool flowing oxygenated water. So we're gonna go check it out and see if there's any fish back here. Oh, oh my. <laughs> I had no idea I had a fish on here. Look how small that is. That is one of the smallest largemouth bass that I have ever caught. Look at that beautiful aquarium-sized largemouth. 
That's awesome. All right, let's see if we can get another one over here by this fountain. <laughs> uh, could help myself sight fish this little bluegill right in front of me. Oh, self-release. All right, nothing else wants to bite here. Let's keep moving. <laughs> Got a little tiny one here. Little juvenile rock bass. Oh. <laughs> Fumbled that one. <laughs> Another little micro guy here. Just a little pumpkin seed. Even the tiny ones are beautiful with those beautiful blue markings. Stunning fish. Got one. <laughs> he hammered it. Just a little bluegill. But he hammered that spoon. Got another one? Whoop. Pretty little bluegill. bit better one there oh <laughs> need to loosen my drag a little bit for this guy no, even not that much oh. <laughs> pretty fun on the ultralight next time I'll try to have my drag set correctly Got one, got one. All right, another decent largemouth here. Ooh, another nice healthy little fish. Got another one here. Oh yeah, species number five, a creek chub. And it's a decent one too. Not everyone's favorite fish, but that's species number five. And that would make some tremendous pike bait right there. There we go. Another little rock bass. Whoop. What I'm doing right here, guys, is just fishing this seam. We have some faster current here and then some slower water. And those predators like to sit in the slower water on the edge and wait for food to drift by where they can swoop in and catch it. I think most people know this about trout, but trout are not the only fish that behave in this manner. Got one. Another rock bass. Pretty red eyes. Got another one. Large mouth. Oh, self-release. Another little large mouth. So I haven't been counting, but I think I've caught five or six fish from right here on this seam. Three different species. So uh, yeah, trout are not the only ones that sit on the seams like that. 
All right, let's move on up. See if we can find some more fish. Oh, <laughs> got one here. <laughs> Ooh, hyper aggressive bluegill. <laughs> oh, <laughs> self release. <laughs> got something micro here. Large mouth. Another aquarium sized fish. Got another one. A little bluegill. Got one. <laughs> pumpkin seed that's three species under this little bridge always check your bridges guys there's another one yeah I got one <laughs> You want to see him? Look. In the water. Look. Got a fish. It's a oh. bluegill. Oh, what a fish. Yep. I'm going to let him go now. <laughs> Catching a lot of cute ones today. Got one. <laughs> Little bite size bluegill. Got another one. <laughs> They're loaded up in all of these shady areas, the overhanging bushes. Can pretty much always count on finding something hiding up in the shade. In this case, a beautiful pumpkin seed. Got one. <laughs> All up in these shady areas. Another little pumpkin seed sunfish. Ooh, got a little nibble there. Came back for it. <laughs> of course he did. Of course he did. Creek Chub. Got a few of these now today. <laughs> oh, another one. A little bit better, Creek Chub. See you later, bud. Might be some more Creek Chub in this little hole over here. Got another one. Looks to me like a large mouth. Nice. More than just creek chubs in there. Micro largey. Super fun on the ultralight. All right, this little hole right here looks pretty promising. Got one. Rock bass. I think I've caught more rock bass this year than I have in my entire life combined. Mainly because I started Tinkara fishing. But I've been catching a lot of them on the ultralight here. Got another one. Little sunfish.
Got one. <laughs> Feisty little bluegill. Got one. <laughs> That is a hard fighting chub right there. Big old chub, look at that thing. <laughs> Not a bad chub right there. About an eight incher. But man, those chubs are slimy though. Another little guy here. Pumpkin seed, oop, self-release. Tell you what guys i've been catching them on every color today but uh this one might be the most effective so far the rainbow trout pattern got one bluegill oh self-release all right, decided to take a little break here because the camera is overheating. It's kind of a hot day today, but I decided to take the opportunity to show you guys the gear that I'm using today. The rod I'm using today is my St. Croix Trout Series six foot ultralight fast action. This is an amazing, amazing rod for creek fishing. It can also handle some big fish. I've pulled in some smallies, 18, 19 inches on this thing, and it works like a dream. And this tiny thing right here is the Daiwa QZ750 ultralight reel. Pairs really nicely with any ultralight rod. And I've got it spooled up here with some high-vis six-pound Daiwa J-Braid in chartreuse. And attached to our line via an Alberto knot, we have some four-pound Daiwa J-Fluoro fluorocarbon leader. At the end of my leader is the smallest swivel snap that I could find, which I believe is a size 14, but you could go even smaller. And then, of course, the Daredevil Skeeter Spoon. And I've been switching out the spoon colors throughout the day just experimentally and uh, every single one of them has been catching fish. And now let's go catch some more. This is cool. I'm moving right through people's backyards. This would be a pretty cool backyard to have. Got one. <laughs> Another nice sized chub, look at that thing. That's a dandy right there. Tell you what, chubs aren't that cool to catch, but uh, they might be the hardest fighters I've encountered today, and that includes the largemouth. Got one. What do we got here? Might be a pretty decent rock bass here. Oh, baby. <laughs> That's a nice rock bass there. Oh, yeah. Look at that thing, guys. Might be an eight incher. Very nice rock bass. Got another one here. Woo! Nice little pumpkin seed. Oh, self-release. Got one. <laughs> Another creek chub. Woo. Look how hard they fight. They're slimy and gross, but they do fight hard. See you later, bud. Got one. <laughs> the beautiful, the majestic chub. Got one. <laughs> 
little rock bass. All right, guys, I don't know how many fish I've caught, but it's a lot. And there were about 15 that I did not film on accident. <laughs> so I don't know what we're at, but it's, it is a lot. Of course, I love chasing big fish and trying to hit home runs, but uh, if you can come out and catch 100 fish, exploring some uh, new creeks with the ultralight, perhaps luck into a big one every once in a while, that is a super fun way to spend your time. Got another one here. Another creek chub. We are still sitting at five species. I'd love to catch one or two more that we haven't seen so far. Got one. Ooh, no surprise here. Another rock bass. There we go. Got one. <laughs> Bluegill, just a little guy. All right, let's keep moving along. We still have much to explore. Got one. <laughs> rock bass came out and hammered it. And wouldn't you know it, he came out from the rocks. There we go. Got one. <laughs> Little creek chub. Oh, really small one here. <laughs> Tiny bluegill. <laughs> Another tiny bluegill, even smaller. Got one. <laughs> you guys see how hard these creek chubs are fighting? Might have to bring out the tiny tinkara rod and come back here again. Got one. <laughs> Pumpkin seed, beautiful little fish. <laughs> little pumpkin seed. Oh, see you later, bud. Might have been a uh, pumpkin seed bluegill hybrid there. Got one. <laughs> Beautiful fish. <laughs> Ooh. If I see a little bluegill. Obviously we're not catching anything too big, but uh, this is such a great time. Got one. Nice. That is a fat, fat creek chub. Oop. See you later, bud. Look at all these bluegill guys. <laughs> so many of them.
<laughs> there we go. So many tiny pumpkin seeds and bluegills in here. All right, let's keep moving up. Got one. <laughs> Another bluegill. Got one. <laughs> Pumpkin seed. Okay, there are a... Whoa! Oh! Big carp just scared the bejesus out of me. Okay, there are a ton of fish sitting right here. But I can see they are all small bluegill so we're gonna move up here because i would really like to see if we can catch one more species that we haven't seen yet Got one. Creek chub, just a chubby. Got one. <laughs> Rock bass. Bunch of these guys today. See some nice shade over here. Got one. <laughs> Anywhere that there is shade, there are fish. Oh. Coming up to a nice long tunnel here. I'm gonna throw some casts under the bridge and then we'll make our way underneath it and keep exploring. Ooh, had a nibble already. Got one. Creek chub. Caught about a million chubs today. Oh, wow. <laughs> Got hit pretty much immediately that time. Seems like a pretty decent fish. Actually pulling some drag. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Best largemouth of the day. Barely hooked. Nice. Let's see if we can get one more before we make our way through. Got one. <laughs> Another largemouth. We may have found where the largemouth are hiding. Got one. <laughs> Ooh, rock bass. All right, there's probably more fish under this bridge, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move on under to the other side and see what is over there. Okay. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> it's okay. 
Okay, maybe I was a little bit afraid there. Just a little bit. <laughs> Got one. <laughs> Ooh. Another large mouth. Oh, there he goes. Got one. <laughs> Creek chub, super aggressive, no hesitation. Hi, Bobby. Yeah. Hi, Bobby. Yeah. I'll be really happy if none of these dogs decide to jump in the water because I don't feel like running and I'm not very fast. Got one. <laughs> Ooh. Pumpkin seed, and he had some friends in there. This looks like a pumpkin seed bluegill hybrid. It's kind of hard to tell when they're this small. Maybe just a pumpkin seed. All right, guys, we have reached an obstacle that even I am not willing to cross. So I'm gonna turn around here, start making my way back to the car, but we're gonna fish along the way at some of the better holes that we found and see if we can grab a few more. Got one. <laughs> Woo. Solid creek chub right there. Got one. Woo. Another chub. <laughs> oh, I cast over the tree and still caught a fish. <laughs> Another chub. This guy doesn't realize it, but uh, he just saved me from getting snagged. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. <laughs> Seriously, though, those are some slimy little bastards, but I've had a lot of fun with them today. Got one. <laughs> Little large mouth. That's three large mouth from under the bridge total. Got one. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, pumpkin seed. This pattern here might look familiar to you. The five of diamonds works very, very well as a skeeter spoon too. I really would have liked to find a trout in here today, but just haven't seen any. Caught one. <laughs> Another creek chub. All right, guys, my battery died on the main camera again, so uh, I think I'm gonna call it quits right here and just enjoy the walk back. Now, if you'd like to win 10 modified Daredevil Skeeter Spoons, there is a link in the description to the giveaway. It's free and easy to enter. The giveaway will only be live for two weeks from the time that this video uploads, and you can enter as many times as you like. Thank you very much for taking time out of your day to watch my video and I will see you in the next one.